In this video, we consider the Lagrange multiplier test. So, the LM test. We want to test the norm of this form, H0, the null hypothesis, R multiplied by theta is equal to Q. And here we have the design matrix, which is J by K. We have the parameter vector, which is K by 1. And we have the values that we test. So first, remember that if we look at the unrestricted model, we have first parameters theta hat, that's the maximum of estimators. We can decompose that into two components, theta one hat, theta two hat. And then we can let the first part be k minus j parameters. And the second part, j parameters. When we stack them together, we get theta hat, which is k by one. The first order conditions for the unrestricted model are given by the score vector. When we evaluate that at theta hat, this is going to be a k by 1 vector. We get s of theta 1 hat, get s of theta 2 hat, which is equal to the sum of the individual scores, which equal 1 to the t, plus st of theta hat. This is zero. What we get when we do maximum likelihood estimation. So for the LM test, we only need to estimate under the null, and that would give us restricted estimates, which we denote theta tilde, and we can decompose that into two components. First, we have theta one tilde, and second, we have q. So in this case, we would have. First, we have k minus j, three parameters. And second, we have j restricted parameters. And we can estimate theta tilde, which is k by one vector. We can do that with constraint maximum likelihood. Now, if If the null is true, then it should hold that if we look at the first order condition S from the unrestricted model and we evaluate them at theta tilde, which is the same as S of theta 1 tilde and S of Q, well, that first part is 0. The second part is not zero, but this should be close to zero if the null is true. So note that what we have here, this is the scores of the unrestricted model evaluated the restricted estimates. And what we want to test is if this part is close to zero. If these are close, Note that because these are the scores from the original model, this is a k by one vector of scores. We test this using the quadratic form. which is the LM test statistics, psi LM hat, which is equal to 
the individual scores, sum from T1 of the capital T of the individual scores evaluated at the restricted estimate prime, and then we take the inverse of the variance of the scores, T41 to capital T, T, tilde, inverse, and then finally multiplied by the individual scores. Sum from T1 to T, that's the individual scores like this. This is the correct form that we use to test. Now, let's very briefly look at how we can derive an estimator of the variance of the individual scores. And we do that here, we zoom in a bit. Let me just set this, decrease the pen a bit. So the variance of the individual scores that is ST theta tilde is given by the information. Evaluated at theta tilde, and this is just the expected outer product of the scores like this. Now, to, to estimate this, let's replace the population expectation with sample average. And we get an estimate of the information from the gradient, which is just 1 over capital T, the sum from t equal 1 to capital T of st theta tilde, st theta tilde prime, like this. So given independence, estimated variance of the scores, not the individual, but the entire scores, are then given by t multiplied by the estimated uh, information based on the gradient, like this. So we just multiply by t, one for each of the individual scores, and that is equal to the sum from t equal 1, capital T, outer product of the scores, like this. This, should we note, is k by k. Now, we can take this, go back before, and simply use this to get the following for the test statistics. So we take the sum, t equal 1 to capital T of st out of, this is not, this is just the score, the individual scores, prime. And then for the variance, we just plug in here, the inverse of sum from t equal 1 to t of st theta tilde, st theta tilde prime, inverse, and finally we get the again, st, theta tilde, t equal 1, capital T, like this. And under the null, this is which a is the number of restrictions that we test. So now we have all we need. We have test statistics. We have a distribution under null. And that's it. Now